Oh, you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Newsmax is a conservative website, and the Christian Broadcasting Network is, of course, a conservative religious organization as well. And these organizations are both well known for being in favor of small government. They constantly run articles about cutting the safety net, ending welfare, and things of that nature. In fact, Newsmax ran an article recently about how Massachusetts taxpayer dollars were spent on government benefits for dead people. They're publishing columns by a guy named Thomas Sowell, who argues that, quote, the political left's welfare state makes poverty more comfortable while penalizing attempts to rise out of poverty. They ran a John Stossel piece. Of course, he's a very well-known libertarian. Uh, and in that piece, he says, quote, America's welfare state is a threat to our future. Uh, then on the CBN side, they have a correspondent by the name of Dale Hurd, who wrote a story in January warning that if, quote, Americans want a glimpse into their possible economic future, they should look to France, where there's high unemployment, low growth, more taxes, and people on welfare. So if there is anything you can count on, it's that these two organizations hate big government spending. They hate mooching, right? Well, that's, uh, that's interesting, because they just started uh, running ads about a weird trick that comes courtesy of the Franklin Prosperity Report, which is a monthly newsletter operated by Newsmax that's supposedly based on the investment methods of Benjamin Franklin. I mean, how they channel a dead guy's mind, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Well, according to the Franklin Prosperity Report, loyal Newsmax readers, who also, by the way, hate big government, hate the social safety net, um, they can partake of, quote, up to $20,500 of the trillions in money, services, and other goodies that Uncle Sam may have already allocated for your family in 2013. That's weird. Uh, Newsmax wants you to know you can game the system and go on foreign vacations on the taxpayer dime. Even if you can't afford it. In fact, I have the text of the ad right here. Quote, many people mistakenly believe that you have to be destitute to receive government money and giveaways. However, the truth is that a larger percentage of rich people than poor people are eligible for government money, such as 100% fully paid cultural exchange trips to other countries. In another part of the ad, they talk about how you can game social security and get a couple thousand dollars more on a monthly basis. That's amazing. So wait a second. This is the same, the same groups that lament government freebies, and then they run ads saying, okay, uh, here's how you can get your government freebies. Uh, can we invent a new word that's like worse than hypocrisy? It's like super de duper de duper hypocrisy. I mean, but look, it all goes back, we talked about this so many times. When it comes to Republicans, they might pretend like, yeah, we hate the government, they just small government, drown it in the bathtub. <laughs> but no, what they actually want, they want small government for you, they want small government for the middle class and the poor, uh, but when it comes to them, oh, no, 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 they can big government all day long. They will take taxpayer dollars. They, have you ever stopped and thought, wait, wait a second, if the Republicans are in favor of small government, why did they repeatedly vote to give ExxonMobil $4 billion in subsidies? Well, they did that because they have no problem with big government as long as it's for already rich people. Already rich people, corporations, them and their readers. These are the same people that judge you all day if you happen to be unemployed and need a little bit of money to survive, right? And by the way, if you're on unemployment, there's only a thousand benchmarks you have to re reach before you can get it. You can't just nonchalantly get it and sit on the couch all day, right? You have to continually look for work, so on and so forth, and it runs out after a certain amount of time. But no, they'll judge you if you do that. But for them, they're telling their readers, here's how you game Social Security. Here, get a couple thousand dollars more. Go on a free vacation. Big government all day long. Here, me, 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 me. Mooch, mooch, mooch. Parasite, parasite. That's me, that's me. These guys, they, they never believed in the principles that they pretended to believe in. And this is just another example of exactly that.